Well, schools are returning across the state line, both in person and online. But what does that actually look like? 13 News reporter William Ingalls went to Rockford Lutheran to see the school year in the age of COVID-19. For months, the hallways and classrooms of schools have stood empty. But for the first time since mid-March, there's a buzz at Rockford Lutheran. Makes me feel like I'm actually normal again coming to school and not being like at home all the time. But even though school is back in session, school isn't exactly the same. Masks must be worn at all times, students have a staggered bell schedule to cut down on how many people are in the hallways, and some students don't even stay the entire day in order to cut down on exposure. Don Gillingham, the executive director of Rockford Lutheran Schools, says that some of these changes will be here to stay. Friday the 13th in March, we got kicked out of the old way of doing things and we said we've got to change, so we're growing into that change. That change revolves around a strong online presence, one that Gillingham believes changes the roles of parents, students, and teachers. We're making parents more responsible so they're not consumers, they're stakeholders. We're telling teachers, you don't get to make every decision, you just point the kids in the right way, you're the facilitator. We're telling students, you are the owners of this education, you are the people who are gonna benefit, you need to invest. Even with this new education, Teachers are excited and encouraged to be back in the classroom sharing what they love with students. Even though I'm not able to be as close to them, maybe in proximity as I'm used to being, but they're going to know how much I love them and how much I care about their education. A labor of love that will forge ahead, no matter the circumstances. For your 13 Weather Authority, William Ingalls, 13 News. The school also performs daily temperature checks to make sure students are staying healthy each day.